The 19th annual National Rube Goldberg competition brought teams of student engineers from across the nation to Purdue University. Their mission? Accomplish a simple, everyday task in the most complicated, inventive, amusing way they could conceive and create. This year's task? Squeeze the juice from an orange and pour it into a glass. Minimum 20 steps required, flames, explosives, and live animals prohibited. The Rube Goldberg contest is fantastic. It is really, really great to see the things that these kids come up with. And I like to come, I like to bring my grandkids so that they can see that science is fun and uh, maybe get them interested in science in the future. It's just a really, really neat contest. The host Boilermakers hope to build on their four-year win streak with the help of secret agent Double OJ. The team of mostly Rube rookies invested nearly 3,000 man hours creating the machine filled with high-tech gadgetry, including a ping-pong orange perilously balanced on a pillar of air plucked from doom by a steel claw. The captain maxed out his credit card as the team worked straight through spring break, adding 20 new steps to the machine after regional competition. One more step is one more chance of failure. So we're just that confident that we can get it working properly when we need it to. Determined to better last year's second place finish, Ferris State created a would-be juggernaut with piles of toys purchased at thrift shops and garage sales. When they were done, they had an astounding 345 steps. Reset time really increases, and you also uh, have the chance of uh, knocking stuff over and having false triggers uh, while the machine is running. That was one issue that we really ran into problems where you know, something heavy would move and we'd have false triggers and stuff, and it just adds that much more uh, complication to it. The first competitor, tiny Washington State Community College from Ohio, offered a competent yet relatively uncomplicated amusement park-themed machine. The University of Cincinnati and Hofstra University both turned to Indiana Jones to bring home the prize. Alas, problems arose such as a rampaging armed boulder getting stuck in a mountain tunnel and a vine clinging little Indy swinging wide of his target. Purdue backed itself into a corner when its floating ping pong ball failed to float for the first time ever. A team from Purdue University has elected to void their run here in round one. Hello, can I please have some orange juice? Building on the orange juice theme, Penn State traveled through several Florida theme parks where Indiana Jones again performed death-defying stunts and Pirates of the Caribbean sailed to the end of the world. Trouble arrived when the team failed to trigger the Dumbo ride. Texas A&M performed well enough in just its second year of competition to take third place with its mad scientist theme. The University of Texas team was forced to withdraw after the rough ride from Austin rendered their machine unfit for service. Ferris State's machine lived up to its hype when its toy factory ran flawlessly to its conclusion. During Ferris State's second run, one required human intervention to free a stuck golf ball created a small window of opportunity for Purdue to maintain its title. Purdue did achieve one flawless run, but during the final run, a small ball bearing stuck in a chute just inches from the final step. Twelve guys, you know, that have never done this before, like, have done little things with high school and then go to a competition like this, and one guy teaching us, you know, everything, and then making it to Nationals and getting second, that's still pretty good. First would have been better. By sticking to the whimsical style of cartoonist Rube Goldberg, Ferris State took home the national title. As you know that you're on Purdue's turf. So there was that fear that we wouldn't win, especially after I, after I uh, had a human intervention on the second run. Mm -hmm. However, uh, that feeling kind of went away when Purdue had a human intervention in their second run. At that point in time, we knew both schools had one perfect run and one run with a human intervention, so therefore we'd be evenly matched as far as the way we competed today. Uh, ultimately, it came down to style points, uh, overall theme, now the team is pondering opportunities to show off its creation on network news and talk shows.